hello everyone what is hyper threading this is what we are going to talk about in this video ready let's begin hyper threading is a technology developed by intel in 2002 and it was introduced with pentium 4 and xeon processors what it does is increases the performance of the cpu and ensures better utilization of the computer technically speaking hyper threading allows the processor to work more efficiently by processing two threads or sets of instructions at the same time and by doing this cpu can run faster and performs more tasks in the same amount of time let's put it this way hyper threading refers to the technology with which a physical processor acts like two logical or virtual cores this makes it possible for a processor to process more than one task or thread simultaneously I hope you got the basic idea, right? Pretty much easy to understand. Let's break it down into further details. As you know, in the early days, there were only single threaded processors that could only perform a single function at a time. As technology evolved, companies started to add cores like dual core, quad core, octa core and so on. Core means logical processors and the purpose of adding cores was to execute more instructions at a time. To further improve the technology, hyper-threading was developed, which is basically a hardware innovation, where a CPU divides up its physical cores into logical cores that are treated as if they are actually physical cores by the operating system. These logical cores are also called threads. Let's take an example for a better understanding. Here we have a quad core processor, which means it has four processing units on a single chip that can run programs much faster. But what if we want to further increase the speed? This is where hyper threading comes into the play. So what happens with this technology? Operating system considers each physical core as two logical cores. Two logical cores can work through tasks more efficiently than a traditional single threaded core. As you know, four hands can do more work than two hands, right? So basically, hyper threading virtually doubles the cores of the CPU. Therefore, this quad core processor will act as it has having eight cores and process the information more faster as compared to a quad core without hyper threading. As I mentioned above, operating system considers each physical core as two logical cores. So it shares the workload between them and each logical core can be stopped, interrupted or directed to execute a specific thread independently of the other logical cores that share the same physical core. Just keep in mind, the main function of hyper threading is to increase the number of independent instructions in the pipeline performance of the CPU of course depends on the type of workload that you throw at it. If the workload consists of processes that have threads that cannot run parallel, hyper threading won't make much of a difference. However, hyper threading is suitable when the workload requires heavy processing of tasks that go in parallel. In such cases, workload gets broken down into software threads that the operating system can assign to the hardware threads and execute them at the same time. Here are some important points to remember. When hyper-threading is enabled, no processor core remains idle and by taking the advantage of idle time, computer runs faster and more smoothly. Hyper-threading is also useful when you want your CPU to send lighter tasks like background apps to one core while heavy applications like games and videos are sent to another core. If your CPU is not hyper-threaded, heavy applications can end up bottlenecked, which leads to slowdown and lag. Ok, now what are the benefits that you can get if you have a hyper-threaded CPU? Well, you can take the advantage of multitasking, efficient resource utilization, responsiveness, and the most significant benefit is that CPU can switch resources between threads, for example while running a video game in the foreground and several background tasks, processor will not struggle. Now you must be wondering how to enable hyper threading, right? Well, it is enabled by default, but it can be 
switched on and off from the BIOS by setting hyper threading technology to enable or disable. The bottom line is if you want a faster computer but don't want to completely overload your hardware, hyper threading could be the best answer to help you speed up your computer. Alright, so this brings me to the end of my topic. Thanks for your time. Make sure you hit the subscribe button for more videos.